previously on Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> All right. 626 encounters a death claw and is tested by the waste, surviving barely with luck and uh, some preparation, I suppose, to fight another day. All right. We killed the Death Claw in the last episode, you guys. <laughs> we we tackled the beast, the beast of the wastes. I still, damn, damn. This is where we left off. We had just killed a Rad Scorp here. We are on our way back, and uh, I think it's the morning of the next day coming up. Death Claw, danger ahead. Don't do it, dude. That's what it's saying. Everywhere, it's saying, don't do it, dude. And we're not going to. Interesting. Our... Oh, you know what? I bet there's vaults to be found. I completely forgot that this was uh, Fallout, <laughs> you know? And uh, I was just like, man, I'm playing a good RPG. But no, this is Fallout. There's probably some vaults to be found. This one, I have to say, the RPG for me really hits home with the way they develop the factions and their relationships with each other and the way people interact with the factions. And it makes the world feel so much better. I don't think whatever it is is going to follow me in here. for all the enemy spawns around it. It'd be a neat little player home. Look at that. We can break down our ammo here. Got a nice king-size bed all to ourselves. This would be a cool building to even come in and uh, the little editor and make pretty put your own furniture in here kind of a thing. Which, which I actually may do that at some point on the stream. I, uh, got a history for, for doing that kind of stuff. Get myself a little player home, I might do it. It'd be cool to do it on the channel, and I could actually even, uh, stream myself making it in the editor. Might be interesting to see how you make a house. a little journey there. This scene, it's good. It's good. We had a, a good long run there. Deathclaw was kind of the pinnacle. That trip really wore us down, but we had enough supplies to still be useful on the way back. Do a little perimeter pushing. See what's beyond just that one more rock, kind of in every direction. much better idea what the wastes have for me now. I get the feeling that someday I'll come back to Good Springs from another direction, more dangerous. And it seems like they kind of tear it out to where north is, is 
the most deadly. I probably won't be coming from that way for a very, very long time. And then that way is kind of mid-range. South is the, the easiest. Very cool starting point. I really like Good Springs. It's much more befitting of a beginning of a game than Megaton, in my opinion. Megaton is, is really a lot to hand somebody right off the get and give you the house and everything as soon as you're out in the world. It's like this one. This one, you can get a makeshift player home. You can get a few. You can get a few really nice ones, but there's not caravans coming through here. There's not anything. You just got your good old country folk living on the edge of town here. And uh, I really dig it. So we made it back. Are we, we ain't crept, are we? No status effects. Nothing going on. Oh, yeah. That death claw hit me good. I don't know if that was necessarily my own explosion part of it, but. But, oof. Doing these explosives, it probably wouldn't hurt to grab adamantium skeleton someday too. I, I think I can do that. How are you holding up? Fix me up, buddy. Thank you. Fix my lambs. <sighs> lovely, lovely. Thanks, Doc. So. Some things that contributed to my survival there. Um, my metal helmet gives me three. This gives me eight. And if you recall, I had the toughness perk. That toughness perk. I lived. I. Ugh. I had not much health left. Not much at all. And that extra little bit, I'm sure, helped. Speed of my light armor helped me survive there. Having a stealth boy, a medex, all that ready to go, fired it all off. Um, I had some of those kind of hots going with my sunsets and Nuka Colas, uh, as well as super stims and regular stims. But it was worth the cost of everything I used because I survived. And that is, that is the ultimate victory there. So. Grab another stealth boy. Take a couple things out of here now, because uh, I used a couple things. Energy cells, actually. Nine mil. So keeps the magnum. I 
can toss the laser rifle in there. We can toss. Oh, I need ammo. I need to make that. I can grab. Oh, jeez. Oh, I just gotta like make some ammo. <laughs> Plasma pistol. That's that's a good thing to have. We're gonna take it all and we're gonna do some ammo transference here. Real quick, what are we at? 10 minutes? Okay, let's start the timer. Alright, folks. There you have it. They said he came back with a death claw hand when he was just a level 8. I don't believe it. No. No, it's here. They let him keep it on the mantelpiece. Hold on, let's see if I can do that. A mantelpiece is not a thing, just so you guys know. Uh, but but that's where I would keep this claw. Hey. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Or you, companion? I hunt geckos mostly. I also help keep the town clear of red squirrel. Okay, I guess not. Mm but maybe you'd be a loner after your dog hey, died. Thanks again for all your help. Will you be a companion? All right. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistaking it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. Special discount, yeah. Okay, what might I not need? Doggy treat. Another satisfied customer. Cool. She's cap drained. See if I can buy some like pieces of the ammo parts I want. Chet here. Howdy. Hey, Chet. You looking to buy some supplies? You got what I need. Yeah. Right, let's go to miscellaneous. Thirty special. Plasma pistol recycler. I may take that because that would that would help solve my ammo problem. 
Oh, Chet, you drive a you drive a hard bargain. He's got a laser pistol. He's got a lot of laser pistol stuff. Just those weapons. Figure this out. And uh, go through, figure this out, recover after. Big crazy fight there. Piercing. It's kind of a nice save. Ah, oh, hey, an accident. <laughs> Every so often I do that. Oops, it's tricky.
got that recycling to use. On my trusty pistol. like moving around and stuff it's it's got like a mind of its own spooky I'm gonna put it in here I think I might use it for crafting later there it is death claw hand and now nah, we don't need to sleep okay Yeah. So back to it. We're at 98. That's our weight. And so I have a programmer's digest. And is my skill at 40? Science. It's at 32. My repairs at 40. That's what it was. It was repair. I do fixing things. Okay, so that's what I needed. I'm gonna head down to Prim. I'm going to pop that. I'm gonna fix that robot and I'm gonna see how that goes. Let's see what this robot has to say. Speaking of robots and their ploys. <laughs> Yep, take any of them. Take Deputy Beagle, take an NCR guy, take one of those caravan uh, guys who's guarding the caravan guards up there who's bored and wants something to do. You know, there's plenty of people who could have been companions. But I have not seen one yet. Sunny, I would think, might offer, but I, I get it if she's there to protect the town. That makes sense. He's got a reason to be there. Those caravan merchants, or the caravan mercenaries, I mean, they don't got no reason to stay. Just come on, man, 500 caps. Roll with me. Let me do some mercenary work. I'll split the caps with you. Could have let me. I, I, seriously, I would have even if they would have let me cut down one of those powder ganger guys from the crucifixes and patch him up. I'd have used two doctor bags and a stim pack and a super stim on him. I'd have used anything to help one of those guys. But they didn't even give me the option. But I would have taken one of them, healed them up, and said, "Yo, man, you wanna you wanna stick with me? You kind of owe me." And you would have been like, "All right, sure, that'd be cool." But everything's dead everywhere I go. Can't even kick the tumbleweeds anymore. <laughs> I don't know why they became solid objects. It's kind of a strange phenomenon. Day 13. The tumbleweed have changed their behavior. No longer do they tumble. <laughs> they just sit there. And they make metallic. 
Sonic sounds. render. I think it's farther than it used to be, so I do like that. I wonder what happened to that group of castaways there. The deserters that were from, uh, I think, NCR. the legion to come here you know good springs <laughs> it's like damn there, there's something the wastes are something but there's something something else deserters anyway. Are they in one of these back rooms? Are they pimping the place? Or did they just leave us alone? Howdy. Bunch of dealers. that Prim will get back on his feet from the money we earn here. Cool, cool. Oh, really? You can play slots? Interesting. You guys want to have a slots episode? <laughs> I'm going to just take a thousand caps and go to the casino and see what the hell happens. Someday. Definitely when I get to New Vegas, that'll be cool. Well, if it isn't the lawbringer. Ah, uh, Deputy Beagle, you got no more dialogue options. Is this is this building enterable now or is this your house? Okay, yep, yeah, that's your house. So let's go heal up this robot. See what that's all about. Five. Oh, dang. Okay, so what does it take for science? 55? Never mind. 
Hey, Thanks, Mr. 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 Nash. Sure, I'll tell you what I know. I don't. Hey there, youngster. A beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the potter. Well, I'll answer what I can. Oh. Hey there, youngster. Let me just trade. Let me see what he's got. Only got 132 caps. And he's got the ammo. <sighs> Surplus 556. Five, no, that's really nice. show up under any of the tabs. I've noticed that. Eight of diamonds, eight of spades. So what weapons do I have? Buy for those ten mil. Why some five five six? Another satisfied customer. Okay. Well, not enough to get the robot. I thought it would be fifteen fifty, but it's sixty five and fifty five. Trying to get that up easy. Hey there, Robo. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the. Just mose you on over to the display case and you'll see a plain as day. <laughs> Have you gone loco, partner? I can see the gun with my own three photo sensors from where I'm standing right now. Something going on with that robot. Note to hack made. Once I get my skills to 1550, I've got this list going of all the places I get to go loot up. They're gonna have goodies for me. Oh, he's 
glitching around over there, kind of. yet. I'm sitting here going. Three, three, three. It's time to proceed down the way. When I reach my next tier of strength, I suppose I'll kind of come back through here, do all the 50 locks, push up into the rads there to my right, uh, go off into the valley there to my left, do a full sweep of the area. But for now, I think I'm going to head to Nipton. And then proceed to the east. Seems like a plan. Lifetime presents East of Nipton. should be gone. Oh man, this place is... Oh man, <laughs> I, d I didn't even intend the pun, but with, with all the settlers gone, this place is very unsettling. <laughs> oh jeez. Legion doesn't mind me, and the thing is, here's the thing, I can be of more use if the Legion thinks I'm cool with them, because I'm free to travel as I wish, do it, go as I wish, talk to whoever I need to, get access to whatever I need to, and like, I don't, I don't have to kill them, I don't have to fuck up their plans, what they're doing, and I can, I can get supplies, I can do what I gotta do. Uh, but if if I go hostile with them, then I'll be spending my time engaging in border skirmishes between them and the NCR. Then I will be just, you know, completing missions for these people and helping them do what they need to do and getting from A to B efficiently. So I think the best way right now is not to, like, join any faction. I think I see a farm up there. That piques my interest. Okay, so... East of Nipton. Here we go. That's, that's probably going to have to be the name of the episode now. East of Nipton. And it would be of a fitting name. I can see what I'm dealing with. So I'll approach close. I was like in that valley they had me there. There's something tucked away in here. Ooh. Oh shit. Well, shoot. Nice 
work, boys. What'd you find? Hidden supply cave. <laughs> oh, yeah, we did. Ooh, we locked average. Oh. All right, lockpick is going up when I level. How far am I from leveling? Always. <laughs> All right. There is a lot, a lot of things that are 50s. I've got safes, I've got robots, I've got all kinds of stuff. And I'm just not dexterous enough to crack yet. Certainly a, a man. Is that a crow? That's a crow. Some baby scorps. Sun is setting already. I suppose it's actually been a minute. All right. Viper gunslinger. Who the hell are you? Keep your head down. We got. We got targets moving fast right next to us. You can kind of see through the rock there. Cheesy. Oh yeah, they're like, hey, who the fuck is that? Okay, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm trying to start the engagement right this second. I'm engaging vipers. The song, another song. Fallout classic. Let's come down here and deal with these nuisances. That they aren't bothering me during the conflict. Legion, as a legion. Ooh. I really should have kept that legion disguise. I don't know what I'm doing. Something a little more intensive than we planned on. Dynamite out. T and T. Okay, let's do it. Come here, come here. Six shots. That's all we need.
those poison glands. What the hell? It's so dark. What the hell is this? Ooh, I don't like how dark that is all of a sudden. It's weird. Legion troops, are they coming here? You guys shouldn't have any quarrel with me. sleep for the night in one of these people's houses. Ugh. What's left of Nipton? It's not really Nipton anymore. It's just the place that used to be Nipton. Shouldn't be overrun with bugs and wasteland. Some more looted out homes. out of the way. Alright, here we are. And Let's see where we're at with status. A little bit of food. A little bit of water. can do a second run through this place. I was at the brink of my weight the whole time I was in here. Let's go around. Ended up with very high standards. I, I think I'm going on like an expedition so if I come back and need to dang it's just a Braxo like that it's worth five um what am I saying if I come back through here and I don't have full inventory I'll swing through these buildings grab everything up before I head back somewhere to town Salesman Weekly is my favorite Allows me to get caps. So, so damn. Distraught. You guys respawn?
well. I mean, it, it is XP. <laughs> Did I get them all with that? My view just like trips out and memes into the fucking wall because I got them all with that. That's beautiful. I can grab one of the bodies. Oh, there we go. So let's head up the way here. Welcome to Nevada. So this is the border here, apparently. That's cool. Cuckoo. Yesterday I checked out north of this road. Today, I'll be checking out the road itself, and maybe a little bit south of it. See a traffic cone up ahead. A little wrecked semi. Fly cave that takes 50 to get into. What a tease. <laughs> I found something good in there. I'll have to come back later. some goodies in the back of that semi. Oh, I've got targets. I got friendlies I got a friendly and a bunch of non friendlies. Which makes me think that it's gonna be big corners. It's definitely a scout, or up, or up, not a scout, a sentry. And so are you. Found sentries on the ridge. Wasteland combat it is, fellas. No mercy. You're gonna try to kill me like that on sight. It will be mines. chance to be friendly. Stop it here. Yeah. 
Dang, that's a dirty little trap. I'm glad I didn't follow the road. I'm glad I know better. I'm glad we're glad we're glad we're playing this smart, playing it safe, taking the sentries up on the ridge real quick and sneaky like there. Just hey, hey, fuck you. Hey, he's over there. And then they chase me around the rocks. Mine goes off. Two quick silent shots. Done. All the all the rest of them heard was a boom in the distance. And uh Alright, so we triggered combat with the Vipers. So, alright guys, there you have it. Episode 21 of the Fallout New Vegas. Next time on Fallout New Vegas True Hardcore. We're going to be taking on the Vipers. So, alright guys, have a good night and I will catch you later.